morning you guys it is currently around 5 30 snoozed my alarm today but still woke up early i just feel like i'm currently in my healthy girl era and it feels really good to stick to a routine to be on a grind and i've just been honestly feeling super healthy lately it's just a really rewarding feeling and i think i found like a really good balance between being productive being on my grind while also giving myself enough rest time where my body is not like overworking but i've been really loving being in my routine being on my health grinds and this is just our healthy girl era you guys I love to take a moment in the morning just to kind of sit, do my ice roll, drink my bone broth, and just kind of think about life. Things feel different at 5 a.m. Honestly, at this point, I've been making waking up at 5 a.m. my literal personality, so sorry about that. But it just hits different in the morning when it's dark outside. It's just nice to kind of just think and reflect in the morning because it's really a different vibe because you have your whole day ahead of you. But regardless, it's nice to just kind of take a moment in the morning to be calm kind of reflect on what you want the day to look like do some gratitude got to the gym but yeah we're gonna go have a good workout i've been lifted in a while because i was on my period last week so i avoided it at all costs and then it was the weekend so it's been about a week so i'm just gonna go easy on myself which is obviously totally fine and i'm just gonna kind of listen to my body with that one but yeah it's currently around 6 45 so i'm hoping to be out of here by about eight o'clock and then we'll go home make the detox smoothie because we're in our healthy girl era yeah if you guys ever like want motivation literally go scroll on pinterest it's the best thing ever it's really random but if i need motivation to go to the gym if i need motivation to eat healthy i just scroll on pinterest and like make mood boards and it's so fun and it gives you so much motivation but yeah i would 10 out of 10 suggest if you guys are seeking motivation because it always helps me it never fails pouring rain such a cozy day this time of year it's so hard to be motivated it really is because of the weather i mean if you live somewhere sunny then lucky you but it's like pouring rain it's dark and it, it's tough it really is tough so that's why like finding ways to get yourself motivated is really important but anyways let's go work out this is the best hand sanitizer you guys because i have like eczema on my hands sometimes and it's just like regular hand sanitizers that are super strong they really irritate my hands and they're also not good for you um if you just get those generic ones like there's so many chemicals in them and especially if you have sensitive hands like me in the winter and stuff it's just not a good mix but i use this one by dr bonners and it's a peppermint organic hand sanitizer and it's seriously like not strong at all but it's still like has like alcohol to kill the bacteria and stuff 10 out of 10 would recommend you can get it at like a drugstore i think um probably like a grocery store they have it at a lot of places in like the organic section but definitely would recommend this if you guys struggle with like dry skin and everything because my hands get on fire but it's like i also like to keep this in my car for when i'm grocery shopping and stuff like that just to like clean my hands after i go somewhere just because i know it's like flu season and obviously you want to prevent yourself from getting sick but anyways let's go make our detox smoothie I just started getting ready and I thought that I would show you guys kind of my everyday 
makeup routine um because i've kind of been doing the same thing every day now for a while and i don't think i've shown like my full makeup routine in a while so why not incorporate it into this video kind of go for that like clean girl vibey makeup because i just don't like having too many things on my face because i hate feeling heavy so before i turn the camera on i just went in with my summer fridays shade drops they're just spf 30 always make sure to put on sunscreen my favorite other than this one is the glow screen by Supergroup. i actually have like literally none left in but I kind of just alternate between these um, depending on what I feel like. After I apply sunscreen, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So this isn't a foundation, but it's basically just kind of like an underlayer. I don't even know how to describe it. It just makes your face look really glowy, evens out your skin tone. If you like light makeup then you will definitely like this so after i apply that i'm just gonna go in with too faced born this way concealer i think that this is the most underrated concealer of all time this has been my favorite since like 2018 or something it's just so good i stopped using it a while ago and then i rediscovered it and yeah so i actually just bought a new one and it's the best concealer ever i swear by it it's so underrated packaging is so cute and it comes with a lot like it's a big bottle it's a hefty bottle and she's really cute anyways this is in the shade vanilla so i just take a bit of that i just kind of apply it i don't like to go overboard on my concealer and then i just kind of go in the areas where i have a pimple or redness my eyes have been flaring with eczema recently so that's why they're really red it kind of looks like i put eyeshadow on like blush or something but that is not the case they're just flaring with eczema so then i go in with my beauty blender and i spray it with this Caudalie spray and i love this stuff so much they actually sent me this and i've been using it ever since but how i like using it is i'll spray it on my beauty blender and then i will start blending the concealer out and it just gives it like a really nice finish by the way, I also have the Kosas concealer because I know this one went so viral. It's okay. Like, honestly, I like this one so much better than I like this one. So just putting that out there. So now that all my concealers blended out, I am going to be going in with the Makeup by Mario. This is his contour stick. I just kind of do some light bronzing with it, like nothing too heavy at all. My forehead... I take this brush, it's by e.l.f. and I just blend it out. I think it's their like foundation brush and I actually really like it. But you guys, so I'm not going to spill the beans yet. But I have a really exciting, drastic change coming very, very soon in about... I'm just thinking when I'm going to announce it, probably in like two months. I know that's a really long time, I'm sorry. But anyways, I got a comment and somebody said how my videos were getting repetitive. And I totally understand that because it's like kind of hard to think of creative new ideas and it's like i'm basically just taking you guys around my day-to-day -day life it's like when i'm showing my day-to-day -day life and stuff it's going to get repetitive and i totally understand that and i'm trying my best to kind of switch up the video so that it doesn't feel too repetitive for you guys so i'm sorry if it has been feeling like that and i totally understand where you're coming from with that if you feel that way personally when i watch my favorite youtubers i just like really love watching their day-to-day -day stuff and it doesn't matter if it gets repetitive just because i feel like i have a connection with them so it doesn't matter if their content is kind of getting a little repetitive so let me know what you guys think about that because when i got that comment i'm like damn yeah that's kind of true but i know that there's also the other side of things but nonetheless there's going to be a big change coming hint hint let's just say things will not be repetitive anymore so if you guys want to guess in the comments go ahead but anyways now on to blush i've been actually kind of rotating my blushes and i kind of use a different one every day so i'll just kind of show you guys what i've been loving recently so i've been really loving this blush by summer fridays it's in the shade pink skies and it's just such a beautiful shade and then i've also been using this rare beauty in the shade happy and then another one that i've been loving recently is this nars it's just like a powder blush and i've been setting my blush with this and it's just a really beautiful pink it's in the shade orgasm i think i'm gonna do the summer fridays blush today you can like directly put on your skin but i just prefer kind of taking it on the brush i am obsessed with blush the more blush the better like, i will put that shit everywhere <laughs> this next month is gonna be really busy for me you guys and i have a lot to prepare i always make sure to put like vaseline or something on my lips before i start doing my makeup so that they're hydrated for when i want to put my lip products on i also alternate between like aquaphor and stuff but anyways okay so now we're gonna move on to brows i use this got to be gel and this huge thing was literally like 
six dollars and it's so good i just take a tiny bit on my finger and i just kind of place it in my eyebrows just a tiny bit and then i take a spoolie and i just comb my eyebrows up into place where i want them and that's it that's literally all that i do i'm just obsessed with this method i've been trying to be super intentional about my makeup recently so instead of just sitting down and trying to do my makeup as quickly as possible and slapping things all over my face i'm like okay where am i putting this why do i need it and it just makes me feel a lot better because it's like the less makeup for me the better um and then if i'm feeling it i'll just go in with this rare beauty eyebrow pencil and i'll just kind of fill in a tiny bit like like at the ends basically do nothing so now we're gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury powder mine actually broke which is so sad like look at that i just take a bit and i just kind of set my t-zone because right here on my nose and like right on the side of my nose here is where i get the most oily like i'm not kidding you when i say i get so oily like right here kind of just place it really lightly and really strategically because i still want to look glowy so i do not put this everywhere this is a really good powder though it just is so natural and it gives you the most airbrush finish a tip that i have is to use like a tiny brush like this when placing your powder just because i feel like if you use a huge brush you're gonna get it in unwanted places and then your makeup might not turn out the way you want it so when i started using a little brush like this it was honestly like a game changer because you could put it exactly where you want it so now i'm gonna go in with the rare beauty finishing spray do we really know if setting spray works or not i'm not sure like it feels really good on my face but like i don't actually know if it works so I also want to get a primer because I've never used a primer before, but I feel like since I don't really wear that much makeup, is it even worth it to prime my face? Like, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just going to go in and curl my eyelashes. This is the Weezer Man Eyelash Curler. It's the best eyelash curler that I've ever tried. It's so good. Like, it literally curls my lashes so good. I'm obsessed. Now I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is my favorite because the brush is just so thin and it's so good. And then I also go in with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. These are just kind of good together. I use this one first and then this one more to kind of just like separate my lashes. I like doing my mascara super light though regardless. When I was in high school, maybe like ninth grade, I would put so so much mascara on and my mom would get so mad at me it was like this huge fight between me and my mom because of how much mascara i would use and it was pretty bad like looking back i'm like i don't know why i did that like who knows it was just funny because my mom would get so mad at me and i would pack it on and now i'm kind of scarred from that so i like doing super light mascara i think i used to use like the maybelline the rocket and that one is so intense i used to do my makeup so horribly i would literally take eyeshadow black eyeshadow and like put it in my eyebrows and it would be so dark so bad i feel like we all went through a phase like that though so i know it's not just me but then i think heavy makeup was like in but anyway so just to finish off the makeup i'm gonna be going in with this lip liner it's from essence in the shade 101 it's called my choice i'm just gonna line my lips with that the shade is really close to my natural lip color so you can barely tell that it's there Okay, I completely forgot to mention this, but sometimes if my lips are pale, because sometimes my lips will get kind of pale, I'll just go in with this Benetint and put a tiny bit like on my lips to just make them have a little bit of color. That way I don't need to wear lipstick during the day and it gives my lips such a nice tint. I'm obsessed with this, especially in the summer. So good. And if I'm going out, I'll probably put like lip gloss on or something, but just for like your everyday, this is what I do. But yeah, so this is my everyday makeup routine that i do every time i'm filming every time i go out it's super easy literally takes me like 10 minutes to do and it doesn't feel like much is really on my face and it kind of gives me that clean girl you know aesthetic look to it so yeah those are like my go-to products that i use and what i do for every day but just made some chocolate oats i put some raspberries on top and some peanut butter and i'm so excited to eat this this took me literally five minutes to make but i'm so excited it looks so good got to whole foods 
because we need to do a big grocery shop and recently i've just been really conscious conscious about what i've been buying at the grocery store because if you want to try to eat healthier obviously everything in moderation but if that's one of your goals pay attention to what you're buying at the grocery store because the thing is is that if you don't buy it it's not going to be in your house therefore you're not going to be tempted to eat it and that's something that i've learned is like when i buy junk food i'm going to eat it because it's going to be in my house so what i'm shopping now i'm very mindful of what i'm putting in my cart if i don't buy the bad shit then it's not going to be there to tempt me and this was harder definitely when i lived with my family because everybody would be buying different things and it wasn't like the same as living on your own so like it's harder to do that when you're not living on your own but when you do live alone and if you do then it's like much easier to consciously make those choices because you're the one who's grocery shopping and you don't have really any other food in the house i go grocery shopping about every two weeks so about twice a month and i would say i spend around probably like 800 dollars on groceries a month i know it sounds like a lot but it's for me and joel so split between us both is about 400 each and that's between costco and whole foods that's just because i like to go organic and buy a lot of vegetables and like that's that really adds up and it gets more expensive yeah but for us personally it's worth it to spend the extra money and since we're blessed to be able to do that it's worth it for us to go organic and everything just because we want to invest in our health i believe that everything you put in your body really does reflect outwards and so it's important to just be conscious of what you're putting in your body and obviously what works for me isn't going to work for everybody so yeah i've just kind of been trying to plan our meals so it's like we have a green at every meal whether that's a salad broccoli green beans like just like a side of greens and then i use rice a lot and then i'll have like a protein so whether that's like tofu chicken whatever it is i kind of like to switch it up but like the easiest meals to make honestly is like just switching up the green rice with a different protein that's like my rotation honestly it takes me like 20 minutes to make every night and it's just so much easier than trying to think of all these meal recipes i do like to make a new recipe every so often but for like the day-to-day -day cooking i like to keep it simple but healthy and this has just kind of been the flow that's been working for me doing the kind of like rice green and a protein but yeah it's like when i eat like shit i feel like shit it directly correlates to my mood to my skin to how my body's feeling to my stomach like over christmas break my stomach was just so awful because i was eating like shit my skin was breaking out it was so bad but then once i got back kind of eating healthy and intuitively i feel so much better now and it seriously glows from the inside out but anyways i made myself a matcha before i left i'm basically done but i'm just gonna adjust my list a bit so that i'm not like scrambling when i go in the store because i still need to kind of write a couple things down but yeah i'm just gonna do that and then we'll go in so here is what is on the grocery list i just edited it it and it's just all this stuff probably gonna end up picking out definitely more things than this but this is like the gist of it of what we need so anyways let's go shopping Here's a quick grocery haul just so you guys can see what i like usually buying it's pretty similar honestly week to week so i'm just gonna do this really fast but i got cod fillets and these will last us a while because there's a lot in here and i got some coleslaw mix so i can make some shrimp tacos or something with it and i got arugula i honestly love putting this on everything and then i got some organic tortillas for tacos i got some bagels cucumber for juicing i got just like assorted meats and i got some sourdough bread some kale because i really want to try this kale salad i got some lemons some sweet potatoes avocado tomato some salad dressing and then just restock on some spices i got some eggs rice some soup romaine lettuce spinach bananas got some turkey so i can make sandwiches i got some cheese tofu and i got some butter and yeah i also got some zevias these are like zero sugar um, flavored with stevia leaf these are root beer flavored and coke flavored and then i just got these and they're actually so good i'm obsessed with these but yeah that's the grocery haul it's literally only four o'clock and the lighting is so bad like it's so dark outside today it's rainy it's gloomy and even like
think at 12 the lighting was so bad because of how just like gloomy and dark it is today which is so normal for vancouver but anyways i decided to put on this mood lighting my orange light that i have just so it makes things more vibey when we're putting away the groceries it's like little moments like that where you can romanticize your life you know what i mean because why not put cute aesthetic lighting while you're putting away your groceries just makes it more fun and it changes things up i'm not gonna like clean out the fridge completely just because i did it two weeks ago and groceries that i bought last time we kind of ate everything and nothing's really gone bad in the fridge so i don't really need to do a ginormous fridge clean out but i'm just gonna kind of wipe things down um and do a little bit but but yeah let's put away the groceries <laughs> You guys, I got this set from Maritzia and I also got a black one, but I am obsessed with it. It's so cute and it's so comfortable for bed and it was honestly not that pricey. It's such like a good skims dupe. Yeah, I love it so much. It's so cute. I'm just going to start getting ready for bed. I don't have any like cotton rounds left, so I'm just going to use some Q-tips to get my mascara off. So I've been using the O Cleansing Balm by the Inky List. I love it so much if you guys have dry skin, especially like in the winter. It's so good. It doesn't irritate my skin. I feel like it actually soothes my eczema because of the O in it. And it's just been my holy grail to take off my makeup because it just like the perfect consistency and it works really well. I mean, to be fair, it is the only cleansing balm. That i've ever tried so i can't really compare it to other cleansing bombs but i just love it so much and every time i use it my face feels so soft and it's a very affordable option as well because it's only like 13 dollars for this whole tube that lasts me probably about a month okay i know i look absolutely insane right now but this is how i look after i'm done my skincare routine because this is my eczema cream that i put on this is by skin fix i talked about this on tiktok i did a video on it but it's the skin fix targeted body balm it's been the only thing that's actually helped me with my eczema flare-ups because i get i've been getting it really badly on my eyelids and this is all caused because of my iud and my hormones are going crazy so my eczema started flaring ever since I got my IUD in and this is totally normal because my hormones are fluctuating and so I just kind of have to get past this eczema period um, while my body still adjusts my IUD but this has been the only thing that's actually helped me with my eczema breakouts. I put it everywhere, eyelids, forehead, chin, where I'm having breakouts and it's my holy grail. I got it at Sephora so I'm pretty sure you can get it from their, their website but it's so good you guys so if you struggle with eczema get this and i really hope it helps you because it really did help me and it's totally like all natural ingredients which is really nice because i don't want to use like prescribed creams because it's like could have really bad long-term side effects for you 10 out of 10 would recommend her but yeah i've also been applying vitamin e i've been mixing like some tablets like these liquid gel tablets i've been literally just like biting it open and squeezing the gel into my moisturizer so that it gives me extra hydration for the winter and it's been making my skin so soft and so hydrated so i would also recommend i also put this over my eczema as well all you have to do is just go to the store get vitamin e tablets just like literal vitamins and then crack them open mix them in with your moisturizer i find it's like the best way it applies to the face as mixing it in with my moisturizer but anyways that is my little eczema skincare routine how cute are these pink floral sheets? But yeah, I hope you guys had fun coming along in my Healthy Girl Era video. Comment down below what you guys do to feel healthy because it's gonna be different for everybody, so I'm just curious what you do. Like for me, it's my detox smoothie. I love doing my yoga, going to the gym, but I know it's super different for everybody. So comment down below something that makes you feel happy and healthy, and yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video.